Remember that an image is an inline element, and that means that it flows as part of the text. And that also means that we get to use images for links. And you'll see this a lot. You'll see an image in a web page, and you click on that image, and it takes you someplace else, and everybody's happy. They can use their images as links, as it should be. And so here's an example of how that's done. This is an XHTML file, and here's a paragraph. And in that paragraph, we have this paragraph has an image that is also a link. And in fact, you see it down here in the browser, this paragraph has an image that is also a link. And there's the image, and you can see it's got this pretty blue box around it, which ought to tell you that that's a link. And you see the browser changes when I move it over that. And when I click on it, it will take us to lynda.com, because here is the anchor tag, a href equals http colon slash slash www.lynda.com close slash. So I click on that, and there's the lynda.com webpage. And I'll press the back button and it'll take us back here. And we'll see that the pretty blue box is now purple because that's our visited link color. And so that's how an image works as a link. Well, there's a couple of things about this that I would like to change. One is the pretty blue box, I'm not actually very fond of it. So I'd like to get rid of that. And how you do that is with the border attribute in the XHTML. So in the image tag, I'm going to type an attribute here, border equals zero. And that gets rid of the box. Go ahead and save it and reload in the browser and the box is gone. That's actually much more attractive. I like that a lot better. And so you see when I hover my mouse over it, it's obvious that it's a link and I click on it and it takes me to lynda.com and I click the back button and I'm back here and everything is good. Except you'll notice the little dotted line around it and frankly there's not a way to get rid of that in the Firefox browser. But you'll notice that it extends beyond the image. The image actually ends about there, and the dotted line is actually beyond it and enclosing the space after the image. In fact, if I click outside of the image, it'll get rid of the dotted box. But you'll see that my cursor actually starts changing during that space. That space after the image is part of the link, and that's not really what I want. On the other side, it doesn't do that. So this is just a quirk of the Firefox browser. Actually, all the browsers have some kind of a quirk in this same area and I can get rid of all of those quirks with the same technique. The reason that that space is part of the link is that I actually told it that I wanted that space to be part of the link because after my image tag, I have a new line and a couple of spaces here, and then the end of the anchor tag, you see? And we remember that the browser will take all of that white space, including the new line and the spaces, and it'll fold it into one space, which is exactly what it's done here, so that it looks all nice and spaced out in the sentence. But that's part of the link because I've included that in the A container. So the way to get rid of it is to take the space out of the container to butt the image tag right up against the A tag. So I'll do that at the beginning because even though this browser isn't creating that as part of the link in other browsers do. And then over here at the end, I'll go ahead and I will close up that space as well. And so now our image tag is right up against the anchor tag. So the end of the begin tag of the anchor tag, there's no space between that and the beginning of the image tag. And then at the end of the image tag here, there's no space between that and the end tag for the anchor element. So when I save this and reload in the browser, you'll see that we no longer have this problem, that the space is not part of the link anymore. And if I click on the link, you'll see that dotted box is now tight around the image and it's not enclosing this space after it anymore or the space before it. Now the only problem with this is that this makes it necessarily longer and you know how I am. I like for things to look good in my editor as well as on the page. So I'm going to show you how this can be pretty in the editor and on the page. You notice if I break the line here and I'll indent a little bit that that space is inside of the anchor begin tag. So that does not actually get rendered by the browser. That's part of the rules. The browser is not allowed to render anything inside of those angle brackets. And so I can do the same thing over here. And I'll actually indent that like that. And so the end of the A tag is over here right up against the image. And the end of the image tag is over here right up against the end tag for the A. And so those spaces and those new lines, while they're up on the screen in the editor and they help to make that pretty, they are not going to be rendered by the browser. So I'll go ahead and I'll save this and I'll reload over here and we'll see that our problem is still not a problem anymore. 
those spaces are still not part of the link anymore. And I can click on this and that little square is tight around the image. So in summary, this is how you create links out of images. And this is how you make them work well in the editor and also on the page.